Hey, you can celebrate this holiday weekend by taking an adventure. Michael Davey, but we call him Mick here at Sonoran Living from National Geographic. He's a filmmaker and a journalist, and he's here to show us where to go to have a little bit of fun. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you for having me. Here. You know, we were, we were talking just briefly a few minutes ago about how hot it is here, and I said, have you ever been anywhere that's this hot? And you said... I, I said there's only one place I've been on the planet that's as hot as the temperatures here in Arizona, and that was in North Africa. I am astonished by how, how hot it is here. I feel like I'm being baked alive. I know. Isn't that horrible? I'm like, well, we choose to live here. But thank goodness there are places, you know, that we can go to cool off. And you're going to tell us about uh, one of them right now. Well, well one of them is, is the Fairmont Scottsdale Princess. And I'm going to be there tomorrow teaching young people, 5 to 12-year-olds, anybody can come along and learn what it's like to be a National Geographic explorer. I've spent my life... Um, traveling the world, investigating cultures and people and having adventures. And I want to pass that on to young people here in Arizona. So we're going to be running an explorer's camp, a National Geographic explorer's camp for kids. We're going to be, I'm going to be teaching them how to shoot photographs, shoot video, read GPS. We're going to have a treasure hunt. Um, there's going to be a particular focus on Africa because I've worked a lot in Africa. And I think this is just an incredible opportunity for, for youngsters from this area to get a taste of what it means to be part of National Geographic. And then we're going to turn one of the pools at the uh, Fairmont oh, Resort. <laughs> we're going to turn it into the Blue Nile, actually, and we're going to have an expedition down the Blue Nile and have a, a great time. It's just a great summer activity. So what has National Geographic taught you that you are, you know, by being an explorer that obviously you're going to bring to all these, all these kids. I mean, it really looks like a, a good time. How has it changed you as, as a person? It, you know, I, I, I've always been a curious person. My grandmother used to tell a story about, about walking me to the shop at the end of the road, and it was only a half a mile, but I would, it would take us an hour to get there and an hour to get back because I would stop and pick up every bug and every bottle cap and stick it in my mouth and smell it. And that has translated and taste, it. and taste it and get into all sorts of trouble. And that translated into a career as an explorer and filmmaker at Geographic. And, and that curiosity about the world has only grown. And, and I think if I can impart some of that to young people here, it's, it may lead to yeah, a better life for people. You know, I want people to be curious and to explore and to expand their horizons. Right. The more we understand about each other, the better the world we live will be, in. exactly. Yeah. And, you know, to slow down a little bit, because, you know, I remember as a child, I did so many, I didn't eat the bugs and taste them like, <laughs> like you did, but, you know, went around just, and just to see the different things. But now with the kids and the video games, and it's like I want them to really experience life a little bit more, and that's what you, you're helping them do this weekend. Yeah. You know, what, one of the messages that I want to convey to, to people is that while it's great to have fun with your PlayStation, the world is a great, big, extraordinary place where you can have amazing experiences. I, I was in Africa recently and I saw a group of Kenyan school boys with a plastic bag and they would throw this white plastic bag up into the sky and the breeze would catch it and they would sprint through oh. the bush jumping over thorn trees and running through creeks and catch the bag and then throw it up in the air again. It was such a simple game but because they were doing it with this sort of spirit of adventure and this spirit of community it was so much more engaging and fulfilling to them than sitting in front of, you know, a PlayStation exactly, computer television. game. Exactly, and, and it was because they were excited to be outdoors and in the fresh air and having fun with each other. And so that's what we're trying to do at the Fairmont this weekend. Get people excited about being outside and, and being curious. Well, you are very engaging, and uh, I'm sure you have a ton of stories. We can't talk about them right here, right now, but uh, hopefully we'll have you back, and we'll see if we can't send everyone there this weekend so yeah. you can teach them what it's like to really enjoy life with National Geographic at the Fairmont. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Well, over 4th of July weekend, we will also have a 70s concert. We, I meaning all of us over there at uh, the Fairmont. Wonder Boogie is going to be out by the pool. Sunday for the resort guests. Summer staycation rates start at $159 per night and include a $50 dining credit. There is also a National Geographic Explorers Camp. That package is $189 per night, which includes a half-day camp session and all-day kids dining passport for up to three children. That is a crazy, crazy deal. So we hope you check it out.